So what is the best Bluetooth speaker under $50? Today I'm going to review the Zoe Tree S1 portable Bluetooth speaker. A little gem I found that honestly is going to be tough to beat. If you like this review and you like the product and you might be interested in purchasing it, I will leave a link in the description so you can go to Amazon and check it out for yourself. Also, think about hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel if you like what you see. I was in the market for a portable, uh, a small portable Bluetooth speaker, something that that I could use to just you know, really play my Spotify or my Apple Music or things like that off of. Uh, honestly, I got tired of constantly having to wear headphones around because the onboard speaker on my phone um, while, while they're good they're not just great and they're not wonderful uh, especially in comparison to the headphones or maybe a portable speaker so I was in the market for a small portable Bluetooth speaker and I wanted one uh, a couple of things I wanted it to be small I wanted it to be portable I wanted it to be easy to use and, and honestly I wanted it to have good sound quality and I didn't want to have to break the bank to purchase that so I started my search on Amazon and so I kept looking until I came across one uh, for, for at the time of this video it was under $20 uh, and all the, the reviews were great the video reviews were great I watched a lot of test footage on it and I'll be honest when it came in the mail this little thing has not disappointed at all I'm talking of course about the Zoe Tree S1 portable Bluetooth speaker. It's a small package, it's very sturdily built, and it packs quite a punch when it comes to the audio quality. It's small design, low profile, you know, it makes it really easy on the eyes and it makes it to where it doesn't stand out when you've got it out. Uh, the size is perfect for it to sit like on a bookshelf or on a mantle or any other surface that you may choose to to place this speaker on. Um, also incorporated into the design on the bottom there are these no slip pads and, and they actually they work really really great now when I first got it I thought oh my gosh these pads are pathetic because this thing's sliding all over the place what I didn't know it was a user error uh, it actually has these little plastic um, coverings on the bottom that you just have to peel off to expose the, the actual rubber or whatever the fabric is that they use and it really does do the job when I set it down and I try to slide it across the table uh, it doesn't slide because of the grip of the, these pads on the bottom. When I first got it, I took it out of the box and I immediately went to pair it with my phone and it paired so quick. It's not like these other devices. Sometimes you try to pair it and it just takes forever. It's searching, 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 hunting, looking for something. Uh, this actually, as soon as I could find it on my phone or as soon as I pulled up the Bluetooth section on my phone, it was there. I hit the button and it paired immediately and started working great. Of course, being Bluetooth, uh, you can control all the the controls on the speaker through your phone or your Bluetooth enabled device such as your your volume, pause, change track, things like that. Just like you were operating a normal phone, you can hit those buttons and you can change tracks or things like that. Um, but you can also operate these buttons on the speaker itself. It has a pause button, it has a forward button, it has a back button, plus it has two other buttons on the top. It has one that's labeled M and that's just to change the mode of the speaker. You can change between the Bluetooth, um, you can set it to an, an auxiliary mode, or it also has an FM transmitter that you can go to. And then the fifth button is a phone. It actually pairs and you can make calls and receive calls uh, through the speaker. As far as the Bluetooth aspect, it works great. I mean, the audio is very, very crisp, very, very clear. It comes with some bass boost built into the speaker, so if you like some bass, you're going to have that with the speaker itself. Um, and the range is pretty good on it as well. You get up to 30 to 33 feet of range uh, with your phone. And I tested that out, and sure enough, once I got about to that 30-foot mark, it started losing the connection. The song started kind of coming in and out of the speakers, jumping in, jumping back out, things like that. So you have that 30-foot range, but as long as you keep the phone or whatever device or even if you put the phone in your pocket, just stay within that 30-foot range, and you're not going to have any issues whatsoever on the Bluetooth. Okay, so the range is good. It looks good. It's designed well. It feels well in the hand. It doesn't feel cheap. It's got a little weight to it. But the major question here, and honestly the, probably the reason you're watching this video, is, is what is the sound quality like on this device? Well, I'll go ahead and tell you, it sounds amazing. Like I just said, the audio is just very, very crisp. It's very, very clear. It sounds really, really great. In addition to that, uh, you can turn it down to where it's just a, I mean, it's just a small whisper uh, coming through the speaker, or you can crank it up really, really loud, over 80 decibels, 
uh, according to what I read online, and I've actually turned it up all the way up, and it's extremely loud. All right, now I'm going to let you hear the audio on the speaker. I'm just going to go ahead and play it at its loudest setting. It is almost Christmas time here, so let's play a little Christmas music. <laughs> Outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. So that'll give you a small taste of what the audio quality actually is. In addition to the Bluetooth mode, it comes with an auxiliary mode. And all that is is your little uh, 3.5 mil millimeter jack, like a headphone jack, is on the back of the speaker. And what you can do there. Um, if you're in auxiliary mode, the battery lasts a little bit longer. In Bluetooth mode, the battery tends to last, I think it was about four hours of continuous use. Whereas if you're in auxiliary mode, uh, it'll last up to six hours because it's not using the Bluetooth to drain on the battery. So you can plug your phone directly into it and just use it as a, a kind of a, a he headphone or an external speaker like that or if you have an old school iPod or something like that that doesn't have Bluetooth technology well you can you can plug it in through this jack and the cable the male to male um, auxiliary cable comes with the speaker itself so you can plug it into the device and you can plug it into the speaker as well so what would I say are the biggest pros to this speaker well number one is the price coming in at less than twenty dollars what you pay versus what you get they're really Honestly, this device is underpriced, in my opinion. Number two is the sound quality itself because, again, you're getting that crisp sound. You're getting that nice low end on the bass. It has the nice highs on the range. I've listened to rock music on it. I've listened to big band music on it. And the bass driving the music sounds great. And then the trumpets hitting those loud notes uh, during the songs with the big band sounds fantastic so the sound quality is really good as well number three is the amount of the, the functionality of the device itself you know giving you the bluetooth mode or you can go to auxiliary mode or you can use it as a hands-free speaker uh, for phone calls if you need to uh, and it offers that FM transmitter but the, the overall functionality of the speaker itself is really great number four I would say is the portability uh, just the, the size of it uh, it's easy to move around. You can place it wherever you want to. You can stick it in inconspicuous spots, like I said. You can put it in your car. Number five, uh, I'm going to have to say is how quickly it paired uh, with my Bluetooth device, with my phone. It just paired so quick. However, this speaker is not perfect. In fact, there are a few flaws that I want to discuss with you, so you're not just thinking I'm giving you this, oh, this is a great and wonderful speaker. It is great, it is wonderful, but there are some cons to it, and I'm going to discuss that with you right now. First on my list of cons is the FM transmitter itself. Now, it, it says that it picks up FM radio, and you can scroll through uh, different stations, and you can. You absolutely can, and that function does work. However, it's very, very weak. Um, it, it has a hard time picking up stations. Number one, if you just try to use the FM transmitter on the device itself, it doesn't work. You have to plug in uh, a cable in the back to use the wiring in the headphones or the cable or whatever as kind of an external antenna to even begin picking up some signals. So when I finally plugged in my headphones, I was able to pick up the signal, but again, it was really weak. I could only get about three or four stations, and normally I can pick up several stations here at my house, here in this room. Um, but with the headphones and with this, I just couldn't do it. My second con, or my second complaint of this, is the Bluetooth calling, the hands-free mode. The sound quality and, and the microphone quality going back to whoever you're on the phone with is muffled. So... It's not the best hands-free device. It's not nearly as good as, say, a little Bluetooth earpiece. Lastly, this speaker is made overseas, so it's not American-made. So if that is a big deal for you, if you're living in the States and you want to buy American-made, then maybe you want to look somewhere else. Overall, I love this little speaker for what I paid 
versus what it does, I honestly, I could not have asked for more. It is such a great little speaker. It's such a, such a bargain price. We'll go with bargain, not cheap, because the device itself does not feel like it's cheaply made. Um, it just it feels really great and it, and it performs really great. So for what you pay versus what you get, you can't ask for more. Uh, I desperately want to give this product a five out of five, but because it you know advertises the FM transmitter and it advertises the hands-free calling, I'm gonna have to give this a four out of five, which is still a solid review for this little product. I just can't give it that five out of five because those two things are kind of weak. Question. Is the FM transmitter a big deal for you? Why or why not? Let me know below this video in the comment section. Guys, my name is Rodney. I'll catch you later.